I'm having a lot of fun posting online. I, I didn't think I would. And, you know, I'm really enjoying, I'm making all these, like, pasta videos that I'm really enjoying. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Grazie. Per Italia. <laughs> I want to write a book called I'm Not a Chef, and in the parentheses it says I'm not an author. Isn't that funny? <laughs> no? Okay, my manager hates it. No, but I, I love doing all these pasta videos. And here's the thing, is the, the first video I, I made was about how to make, like, a more authentic version of carbonara. That dish has really sort of lost its way throughout the world. It's been twisted, and not even just America, every country, they add like cream, and they add milk, and they add peas, and they add onions, and bacon, and Parmesan, and it's all raw, fresh pasta. Don't use fresh pasta and fucking carbonara. You know, if you, if you wanna make the sauce creamy, just use the hot pasta water with the mixture of egg yolk and pecorino cheese, and then it'll be more flavorful. <laughs> Welcome to my TED talk. And, <laughs> It's just better, so stop ruining the dish. So the first video I made was that, like how to make a real carbonara, right? I'm very proud of it. I post it. I go to sleep. I wake up the next morning, and the first comment is so long, it looked like a CVS receipt. <laughs> so I'm going to read it to you. <laughs> okay, so the person that wrote me, their name is Queer Feminist. Now hear me out. I am queer and I'm a feminist, okay? But I feel like we agree. If you're gonna go as far as to naming yourself queer feminist on Instagram, like, you're probably not fun. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, if you're at a party and someone's like, oh, queer feminist is coming, you're like, ah, shit, we can't say anything. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> queer feminist writes, she goes, at Mateo Lane, I am glad to see a renowned comedian cooking a delicious carbonara. Oh but... <laughs> my heart ached when I saw you throwing the egg whites away. I have never met anyone in my life who has used the phrase, my heart ached, ever. <laughs> ever. I don't even think Shakespeare said it. When I read my heart ached, I wanted to stop reading and write back, faggot. So it gets worse. She goes, I know I'm not in a position to lecture you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but <laughs> you must consider to keep the egg whites separately in a bowl and give it to someone who needs it. <laughs> Can you? Imagine. I take two egg whites. I put them in a bowl. I walk down six flights of stairs. And by the way, if you don't know those are egg whites in a bowl, I'm just holding cum in a cup. <laughs> and how rude would I look if I walk up to a homeless person? There you go. <laughs> See, yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> no, no spoon, just suck it up. Yeah. No, I had the carbonara. That's for you. <laughs> I know, I saw you from my home and my heart ached. Can I have the bowl back, actually? <laughs> you know what's funny? When stuff like this happens, I usually text my friend. You guys know Nicole Byer, the comedian Nicole Byer? Okay. So, Nicole's one of my best friends, so whenever stuff like this happens, we always screenshot these comments and send it to each other. So when I got this, I was like, ah, I've struck gold. So I screenshot it, I send it to Nicole, and then I just hear nothing back, and I'm like, oh, I guess she didn't think it was funny. Then at the end of the day, I get a notification on Instagram, and it goes, at Nicole Byer has commented on Queer Feminist. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I go and I look, and Nicole goes, you're right, Queer Feminist. 
Mateo Lane is a vicious, selfish monster who should have donated those egg whites to a needy bodybuilder. <laughs> That's cute, right? That's a funny joke. And then Queer Feminist still not getting it. She writes back, she goes, no, no, Nicole, there's no reason to shame him. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> so Queer Feminist, if you're watching, thank you for bringing me so much joy. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, I say that because I've been running this joke for the past couple of months, and then people at my shows are going online, looking at the comments, finding Queer Feminist, then commenting on it. And so she commented the other week, and she goes, did something happen? <laughs> <laughs> yes, something did happen. No, her heart was in the right place. I get it. I just, you know. The thing is, like, with these... With this